Hello, this is a quick demo on how to get free access to the latest version of SAP ERP, which is SAP S4HANA 1709. There are no prerequisites, the only thing required is to have a credit card to register to the website. So SAP offers a free 30-day trial license to anyone. All you have to do is to register to the website. And using this license, you can create your own instance on the cloud. And for this, you have to choose one of the cloud service providers, Google, Microsoft, or Amazon. The reason I go with Google is once you register, you get 300 USD free credit. So today I'm going to show you how to create your own S4HANA 1709 instance on the cloud Google platform. Now I'm going to start by setting up my Google Cloud account. So go to cloud.google.com, click on try GCP free, agree to the terms and conditions. The payment profile is where you have to insert your credit card details. Your credit card is not going to be charged now, but in order to continue, you have to fill these details. Now I have an account on Google Cloud Platform and I also have 300 USD free credit. Then I'm going to create a project for my S4HANA instance. So click on my first project, new project, insert a name, create and now I'm going to create a service account for the project so click on this menu IAM and admin service accounts create a new account specify a name for the account there are three rules required for the service account to be able to install the S4HANA instance so the three rules are network admin security admin and instance admin Now click on furnish a new private key and keep the extension as JSON. So this will download a private key file to your device. Please keep it in a place where you can find it because we are going to use it in another step. Now we have to activate APIs. So go to the menu again, APIs, dashboard, enable APIs, and search for the Compute Engine API. Now, if this is your first time using this credit card with Google Cloud products, then you have to enable billing. Now we are going to activate the second API, Cloud Resource Manager. So now I have an account on Google Cloud Platform. I have 300 USD free credit. I have a project for my S4HANA instance. I have a service account and I have activated APIs. Now I'm going to move to the SAP Cloud Appliance website, cal.sap.com. Get started. This is a list of all the SAP solutions that we can try and deploy on the cloud. Now I'm going to search for 1709. As you see, there are many versions of S4HANA 1709 available. The one I'm going to use is the FBS01 fully activated. The reason I'm using this one is because it was published in May 2018, which is recent, and it also has pre-activated best practices and dummy data that I can use for testing or for demos. To create the instance, click on this, and you will be asked to log into the website. If you already have an account, you can use it. Otherwise, you can register for a new account, and anyone can do this. So even if you are not an SAP customer or a partner, you still can register to the website. Now, when creating the instance, make sure you are using the advanced mode because there are some options that are not available in the basic one. Create a new account. The cloud provider is Google Cloud. And here I'm going to upload the JSON file that I downloaded when creating the service account in Google Cloud Platform. Upload file. Step two. Step three. 
instance name. Step four. This is a list of all the virtual machines that can be deployed on the cloud and this will impact your cost. So if you are not interested in business objects, I recommend deactivating this one. And also I recommend deactivating the remote desktop virtual machine. As you see, the cost went down from 3.44 to 2.69 USD per hour. Step five. Insert a password for the instance. Step six. This is a very important part. You should always keep the machine suspended unless you are going to use it. Once you activate, it's going to charge you per hour. Now the cost of the machine I just created is going to be 2.69 USD per hour. And I already have 300 USD free credit. So this is enough to run the machine for around 100 hours. After my free credit is over, my credit card will be charged. Now click on review, create. When you try to create the instance, you are going to get an error that you don't have sufficient resources. In my case, I don't have enough CPUs and I don't have enough memory. So I have to go back to cloud.google.com and request additional resources from the cloud provider. Before I go, I'm going to copy this error, then go to cloud.google.com, click on console, To request additional resources, you must upgrade your account to a paid account, which means that Google can actually charge your credit card once your free credit is over. So click on upgrade account, upgrade. Now let me show you how to request additional resources from my original account. After you upgrade your account, you are going to look for the compute engine CPUs. For the location that you have selected when creating the instance in SAP Cloud website. Click on edit quotas. Here I'm going to specify the number of CPUs that I need. In my case, this is 36. And I'm going to describe why I'm requesting new resources. Or I can just paste the error I copied from the SAP website. After submitting the request, you have to wait for the Google support to respond. And this may take up to two days then you can proceed with creating your instance. Activating the instance for the first time takes around 90 minutes, then the status will be active, and you can click on connect. Now you must have SAP GUI installed in your device to be able to continue, and once you click on connect again, this will download a shortcut to SAP GUI that you can use to open your instance. All the usernames and passwords are available in this PDF that you have to check. Now click on the shortcut. The username for finance is s4h underscore fin and the password is welcome one. And we are done. Now I have my own S4HANA 1709 instance that I can use for testing or for demos. Hope this demo was useful and easy to everyone to understand. If you like it, please hit share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.